Let's talk about 11 causes of depression. I'm currently reading a very interesting book by Kelly Brogan, MD, amazing credentials. She's actually a psychiatrist. And this is what she said. There is not one study that proves that depression is a chemical imbalance. People are taught or told that, oh yeah, you have depression, you have a chemical imbalance, just take this drug, it's going to fix it. Well, 10, 20 years later, they still have the depression and they're on five or six or seven or eight medications. Or they might say it's genetic, you have the gene for depression, which is absolutely not true, it's never been proven. Um, it's more epigenetics. Epigenetics are those factors that control your genes. A lot of that's environment, the food that you're eating, the nutrition that can affect the genes. So let's go through the 11 causes of depression. Number one, low vitamin D. This is why people in the winter a lot of times get the blues because they don't get much sun. Vitamin D can greatly help someone's mood and pull them out of that depression. Number two, low vitamin B12. Now our bodies store B12 for up to a year, but at some point, if you're not consuming animal products or you have a problem in your gut and you run out of B12, you'll not only have a lot of neurological problems from that, but you can get depression. Number three, low zinc or low chromium. You can get both of these trace minerals from shellfish. A lot of people, when they consume shellfish, just feel better. It brings their mood up, and that's one of the reasons why. Number four, low blood sugar or high blood sugar. But if you have low blood sugar, chances are you could have high insulin that's pushing the blood sugar down. So you can actually have depression from low blood sugars or high blood sugar or normal blood sugars because you have insulin resistance. This is why keto and intermittent fasting are very important. When you do intermittent fasting, you can greatly elevate the mood. And when you do the ketogenic diet and you're producing ketones, ketones are great mood stabilizers. And also ketones feed the brain. All right, number five, lack of sleep. And when I'm talking about depression, I'm talking about either hopelessness or apathetic. You don't care anymore. Anxiety is different. Anxiety is more like I'm nervous. I'm constantly thinking about problems and I don't have any solution to that. That's anxiety. All right, number six, fatigue. So many people that are depressed actually are physically exhausted. And guess what? That will make you depressed. Being tired will give you the sensation of depression. It's very difficult to be depressed if you're full of energy. And this is why sleep is very, very important. All right, number seven, postpartum. You just gave birth and now you're depressed. This is very low estrogen, okay? I put a link down below of another video that I did to increase estrogen and you can watch that if you just had a baby and you're depressed. All right, number eight, you're going through your menstrual cycle and at some point during that period of time, you get depressed. Same thing, it's low estrogen. Now, number nine, you're taking some medication that's, that has side effects and one of the side effects is depression. Now, the problem with certain psychiatric medication is they inhibit certain neurotransmitters like serotonin. So they cause this recycling effect. So they prevent the loss of that neurotransmitter. The problem is over time, your receptors downgrade. That means you need a little more medication to create the same effect. And over time, you need more and more and more and the side effects go higher and higher. And next thing you know, you need another medication and another medication. And you're getting more side effects and more side effects. All right, number 10, you have stress due to a loss. Let's say you have a loss of a loved one. Well, guess what? Depression is a normal response to a loss. If you weren't depressed, that would be a problem, okay? So this is normal. 11, environmental situation. You're stuck in an ongoing situation, a problem that you can't solve and you become depressed because of that. So the best thing to do for these situations is to make sure your sleep is good. That way your energy will be up. Make sure you have enough vitamin D and B12 and trace minerals and definitely get on keto and especially intermittent fasting. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.